about dependent test in test ng framework so in this video we are going to learn what are test ng dependent dependent test single dependent test methods multiple dependent test methods inherited dependent test methods group dependent test in test ng and test ng dependent test in xml suite so let's get started so often we we want to run our uh, test cases in particular order in test ng isn't it so so we may use the priority parameter for that no doubt but priority will run all the cases without looking for the relationship we want to define alphabetically for the same priority so the dependent test in test ng determine the dependency of a test on a single or a group of tests basically so uh, in that case uh, we say that a test is dependent on another test it is similar to saying a browser is dependent on a internet okay or your sign in method is dependent on your open firefox or open browser method isn't it so so uh, there is no if there is no internet means there is no purpose of running the browser and if there is no browser there is uh, then there is no uh, a point of or no purpose of running uh, sign in or login uh, method so providing dependency among test also help us in the scenarios where we want to share the state or data between the methods so first thing first so how do we specify these dependent test in test ng so for that i have created this class test ng class and let's take a glance at this class and uh, you can see all the test annotations right here which has attribute called priority which has attribute called groups which has attribute called dependent depends on method and group of course so those can be separated out by comma comma inside the uh, inside the closing um, brackets you can see and i have group i have added uh, this test to two groups you can see and i have used this again one more attribute called depends on group and the this method is belongs to this method belongs to group 2 okay and this depends on group 1 which is right here so what will happen when i run the test when i execute this class what will happen so any test which doesn't have any priority all right so we'll get the first you know precedence so basically what will happen here so it will come to this far and it will try to execute this test okay so what will happen there is no priority so it will actually go with at alphabetical order it will go in alphabetically order okay so it will see so test group it i mean there is a g and there is a m right so of course i mean it is it will get first chance so it will be printing because there is no priority so it will be printing uh, this line first and then it will come to this and suppose if i uh, define the priority right so this line this method will get chance first chance and since it is dependent on uh, group 1 so it will actually control will go to this and ultimately this will be printing first okay so i'm not talking about the priority in case of this group i mean in this example so let's see what could be the output i mean um, we we have just a uh, note i mean like uh, uh, yeah uh, we have just uh, discussed like what will be printing here so it will be printing here and it will have least uh, effect on uh, depends on group right because it has already already got executed so it that dependency is already fulfilled right group 1 has already been executed and this uh, particular you know test belong to test group belong to group 1 and group 2 so uh, and group name is here the group name is yeah so this will be um, printing next and then the control will come to the priority so test ng will uh, look for the priority and uh, whatever i mean like uh, is uh, uh, like lesser right so that will uh, get more priority so that will be high priority item so suppose i mean uh, it starts from 0 to 1 to 3 i mean like that 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so 0 will get high high chance high priority and 1 uh, will uh, get the next 
chance to will be having less priority than uh, you know i mean two will be having a higher priority than three and similarly uh, it goes for like uh, in, the, in the in the number right number will go like that so here it will come to priority one and uh, since it will see there is a dependent uh, depends on method so this is the method open firefox method method so which is right there and that has a priority three so no matter like whatever priority it has it it will try to execute this uh, you know method test method first so it will be printing inside firefox method so this print statement will be executed and then yeah it is defined it is allocated to sign in so so this test is allocated to the sign in uh, groups we are not talking about any groups so let it be so it has executed now it will be printing inside sign in method of course because it has priority 1 and then it will go to priority 2 items and it is dependent on sign in so sign in since it has already got executed so it will be executing inside logout so what will happen what will be printing here so if you understood the concept so you will know for sure if there is no priority on the test cases those will get higher chance i mean and those will get first chance in the execution so it will be printing first line for i mean this one i mean first thing first okay so inside test group method which belongs to group one and group two then it will be printing this because it has already executed this group one uh, test method and then it will come to the priority one so priority it has a dependent a depends on method so this is the dependency so it will be executed as a priority three but it will get first chance so it will be printing inside open text inside open firefox method right and then it will be printing inside uh, sign method and then it will be printing logout so let's see the result let's execute and uh, see the result okay uh, let me just change the run configuration and there is another class that is also getting added to this so i'm running and let's let me maximize this okay so let's see so you can see right inside uh, test group method which belongs to group one and two so that is this line and then it will be printing in this line will be printed after execution of test group method which i can change it to this okay not a problem so uh, which belongs to this and then it will be printing open firefox browser method okay which is this um, i mean like depends on method so that is the reason I mean, inside of firefox method, this is printing no matter like whether, whether the priority is a three because this particular you know, priority one item depend on this method so it will be printing this and so once the execution is complete then it will print this and then it will go for logout sign in method and then logout logout is having a uh, priority two okay so i hope i hope i mean uh, this is clear to you and let's jump on to the our uh, you know slide so single dependent test method we have seen and we have seen multiple also a dependent test method so inherited uh, dependent test method let's take a look at that and then we will move on to the group dependent test in test ng so inherited one is this so here what we are doing so in this test a uh, method what we are doing basically so we are having two classes first class and uh, the inherited dependency test class so you can write one more test ng and uh, you can have test one method and you can have another method inside this class which is ex actually extending the first class okay so if i run if i have a method here right and uh, we are making uh, you know dependency on this so uh, basically before uh, when, when you are executing this right this test so this test method f will be executed i uh, mean uh, f won't be executed without executing this okay so let me uh, remove this extend for now and uh, let's see let me change the, yeah so depend on test inherited dependency so i have to change the run configuration to inherited uh, inherited dependency test and apply and run it what will happen 
So it will throw one error, right? Depends on non-existent method called test1. Okay, so in this case, it will not know where my test1 class is. So we have to extend it first. Extend that class, first class, so that it should know where my class is. And then it, when I run it, it will actually make three run and what it will so because it is parent class right i mean uh, it is derived uh, and we are extending so it will be uh, calling it first and then this test will make one more call okay hello will make one more call so it will go to, uh, inside the test method one test method and uh, inside test method then it will print hello so that is how we can we can uh, write inherited uh, dependency uh, test okay and we can uh, make sure like i mean we, 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 that is how like we can we can make sure this is the pattern or this is the uh, uh, class structure we have to follow in case of you know inherited dependent test method right so when we have such class parent uh, class and a uh, derived class right so we, we 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 can actually make the dependency like that so we have to extend and we have to use that depend on method like this that attribute like this okay so make sure this class is there so if i don't have if this class is not there here so let's execute and it will throw an error right for sure so it will show this test method is not found so depend on non-existent method right so it didn't get that all right so let's move on to the next so what is the next item or the question here we have in the slide group dependent test n test ng so we have already seen right what is that group dependent uh, test so basically what will happen here so let me go back to the previous class so here you can see right so it depends on group we have used this attribute and uh, when we are using this let's suppose we have a priority called let's say it gets a uh, priority i mean I'll, let me remove all those test and only app this group one and group two okay so i will have like this and this is my group two of course and uh, the name of this i mean i am just uh, allocating this class test method to group two and it has dependency on group one okay so there is no name is specified uh, test group so alpha uh, test ng will be executing alphabetically so if i give something like this test one and then test two what will happen here let's see so it will, it will be printing inside group and then it will be printing this line will be okay we can uh, later set the priority and uh, we can print the statement so see here inside the uh, test group method which belongs to this because test ng uh, test ng will be executing um, those tests in order alphabetically order right until we set the priority to the groups or test right so here if i set the priority to 2 and if i set the this test priority to say priority equal to 1 okay so what will happen this will get first chance but it has dependency on this uh, group 1 so let's say if we get the same uh, output or not on the console yeah so that is what is happening okay so inside test group because it is getting the first chance and it has dependency this particular unit you know, test 2 has dependency on group 1 so it will make sure all the tests inside the group is executed first then it will be executing the test 2 okay so all the test method inside uh, group 2 will be executed uh, later i mean after the group 1 tests are complete all the methods inside the group 1 is complete okay so this is how we can make sure uh, we are executing our test cases in given order okay in particular order in test ng basically all right 
let's move on to the next one so which is a uh, test ng dependent test in xml suit okay so for that i have created or you can create a test ng class out of your you know class basically right here like this convert to test ng and you can i have already uh, done that so test ng is here and later you can add the group and dependency so just to save your time i have added i have created one more test ng class here which is your group test of course so what is happening here i have three test annotation right three test methods are there sign in open browser and logout there is no priority uh, defined for those but i have given the group name to each one of them so this is this belong to this particular uh, test belong to logout group this particular test belong to open browser group and this sign in method belongs to sign in group okay so what will happen here so if you don't um, want to you know give the priority here and you want uh, those uh, mechanism or those uh, you know rule to be defined in test ng you can do that like this in this way so we can define we can have one more at attribute called dependency inside the group so this far all good so we can add group and then inside the group uh, we can add dependency and the group depends on the open browser so basically what is happening so sign in is dependent on the open browser is dependent on open browser and logout is dependent on sign in okay so these are the methods and these are the methods which are there these are the groups which are there in that uh, class you can see okay so sign in is dependent on open browser and open uh, and logout is dependent on sign in okay so there is no uh, priority given and if i don't give the priority if i run the test so it will be executing in alphabetical order okay so logout will get first chance and then open l comes first then o and then s right so which is why we are getting this order logout open and sign in so alphabetically order is maintained right but if you want to make sure your test cases is uh, running or executed in particular order in test ng so you have to add the priority over here or you have to define the rule called dependency right dependency rule here so you can use these tags the group depends on open browser and these are the name of the group okay so that is how you can do that and later you can add the class so my class is group test and if i run so i have to run the test ng suit right so what will happen now it will actually executing open browser method first okay then sign in method will be executed twice i mean the way we wanted it to you know execute all right so that is what we have for you on this video and uh, yeah if you like this uh, video please do subscribe to my channel and uh, share that share this video with your friends and uh, yeah i'll see you in next video thanks again keep learning and thanks for watching